Hey there, what's up? It's Johnny here, and today I want to talk about perspective. And what I'm talking about is the height in which you take a shot. And it's so important to your composition. There are three parts to a composition. Have a look at this image I'm going to show you now. So you've got the foreground, the midground, and the background. So the midground is something that's not spoken about a whole lot, but it is really important, just as important as the foreground and the background, okay? And your tripod height makes a massive difference to that. Now, I'm gonna take three shots, and I'm on this, I'm on this cute little jetty here in a little place called Manning Point on the New South Wales North Coast, and I'm gonna take three shots, and I'm gonna change my tripod height for every shot, and I'm gonna show you the difference in every one of these images, and you will be blown away. Because what often we do is we get to a location, we'll set a tripod up at that beautiful, comfortable height that's great for us so we don't have to bend over, and uh, we'll just take the photo. And we won't even think about how the height of your tripod can totally change your composition, okay? This is super important and it's, it's, it's a must. It's a simple, such a simple thing, but it's a must thing just to get your head around, okay? So let me set up these three shots. We'll take them and then, um, yeah, I'll show you the difference of just something simple like your tripod height can make to your composition. All right, let's do it. All right, so here we are. You can see we're at our low tripod setting here. And I'm just gonna take that shot there. If I switch the camera on. Okay, so I've taken my shot at the low tripod height and you can see it's maybe only two, three foot off the ground right now. All right, now I'm at the second height. You can see it's a good medium height for me to walk up to. And um, I'm just gonna take, take that photo now. Now, I'm not changing any camera settings, focal length, nothing. I'm not changing anything except the tripod height for these images. And you wait and see the difference. All right, now you can see the tripod is super high now. It's extended as high as it can go. It's probably six foot up. So I'll just quickly take that shot now. Done. All right, let's go through these images and I'll show you what the difference is. It's amazing. Let's go through these images and I'll show you the difference between them, okay? It, oh, man, it makes such a huge difference and it's such a small thing that we just totally forget about. All right, let's jump into this first image. So this first one was taken at the low tripod height, okay? You can see the foreground is super close to that, you know, it's super close to the lens. It's pushed right up close to the lens. And that's what's so great about this low angle. When you've got a wide lens on, it really exaggerates that foreground and, and pushes that right up close to the front of the lens. And I, I love low angle shots like this. They look super cool with a wide angle lens. But you'll also notice, look at the gap between the top of the pier or the jetty and the horizon line, okay? The mid-ground, there's no mid-ground, okay? The, basically, the mid-ground is just closed right down. So the foreground subject and the background have been pushed closer together, okay? The mid-ground has been really minimal, minimized. So that's what happens when you go low, okay? You go low down, you're losing that mid-ground, but your foreground is getting pushed closer to the front of the closer to the front of the lens, which puts it right in the bottom of your photograph, which is super awesome, okay? So take a look at this next image now. This is the medium height tripod, so the mid height. And you'll see in this photograph, what's cool is those leading lines in the foreground have been, you know, the edges of the jetty are closer now and they're helping lead your eyes through, okay? But the important thing is the separation you're starting to get in that mid ground. You look in the mid area between the horizon, sort of in, in the in the end of the jetty there and you'll see you're getting separation between those two areas now a nice defined separation and that's the importance of tripod height you know you can start to really change your whole composition just based on a simple thing like your tripod height so that's the medium one now let's jump on to the high tripod height and things just change all together check this out man so now the leading lines are right in the bottom of the frame and they're pushing you right through the frame out to the end of the jetty now and you've even got more separation between the end of the jetty and the top of that pier and you can just see the three images now the low the medium and the high and look at the difference between them it's just absolutely incredible you know a simple thing like your tripod height can change your whole composition so that's it guys it's as easy as that you go out make sure that when you put your tripod down I'm gonna put my sunnies on because it's super bright actually <laughs> guys make sure when you go out and you 
put your tripod down um, that you did you before you put your camera on your tripod you're checking the height to see what perspective you want to shoot your image at okay it's really really important and it changes your whole scene and you want to try and sometimes you really want to try and get that separation between your foreground and your mid ground and give yourself some distance sorry your foreground and your background and give yourself some distance in that mid ground area to create that separation and it's easy it's it's as easy as lifting your tripod up and down. All right, so I hope you like this one. This was another question that came from the I awesome, my, my, our awesome Team 3CX community. And one of the members there was asking about this and uh, everything is going on there. It's super excited. We're having a great old time in the community. Lots of image critiques, lots of masterclasses and uh, lots of feedback, man. And that's the thing and lots of community. You know, it's building, building in there as a team of photographers together who are supporting and helping each other through their creative journey so that's what I love about it if you want to find out more I'll put a link below this but uh, man I hope you enjoyed that little tip there it's something that we often forget about and it's something that's super important part of composition is the height you take a photograph so that's it for me stay awesome stay inspired and I'll talk to you again really soon peace